Churches in the United States are closing at a rate of 10,000 per year due to a decline in attendance. Many of these buildings are architecturally significant and were built with a nickel and dime contributions of our hard-working ancestors. Hello, my name is Bill Kepley. My dad, Jack Kepley, and a dear friend, Susan Morris, are here with me today to talk about the future of this building known as Coburn Memorial United Methodist Church in Salisbury, North Carolina. This building is just a few years short of its 100th birthday. Tragically, for the past two decades, the congregation here has followed the national trend of declining membership and attendance. It's been said that a congregation of mostly senior adults is only a few funerals away from an in empty building. This is probably true here. Six generations of my family have worshipped at Coburn Church building, and we refuse to let it be shuttered without a fight. Most of us within the congregation believe that this building has another hundred years of useful life provided a new mission is developed that will serve the entire community. The existing congregation, which is currently using about 10% of the building for about five hours a week, cannot maintain the facilities alone. With the leadership of the Holy Spirit, we have formed a task force to repurpose the church building. Our plan is to find community groups to move in, share the space, and share the operating expenses. The task force has taken steps to create a new nonprofit foundation that will operate and maintain the facilities. We are going to call this new nonprofit foundation the Chestnut Hill Legacy Foundation. The majority of the building following renovations will be known as a center for music. The re renovated facility will be dedicated to providing music training and collaborating op opportunities for the entire community, including underserved youths and adults. We currently have recruited four outstanding community groups that have demonstrated a strong interest in joining us. We believe that sharing the building will actually give the existing congregation a renewed life and a chance to grow. These community groups, along with the existing congregation, will each have a designated share of the building and will collaborate scheduling for use in the common areas. The existing sanctuary will be operated as a concert and recital hall. The new Chestnut Hill Legacy Foundation will coordinate the use of the concert hall and the fellowship hall. By these groups and others, outside groups with Sunday mornings reserved for the existing congregation. An architect has been selected to prepare plans to redesign the facilities to meet the needs of these member groups. The building improvements will include ADA compliant bathrooms, elevators, additional parking, and a new main building entrance. The stained glass, the oak paneling, and the famous standard pipe organ will be preserved. The task force is organizing a capital campaign to raise sufficient funds needed to pay for these renovations and improvements. After completion, the facility will be self-sustaining. We expect to raise these funds through grants from major donors and individual contributions through a free GoFundMe account. All contributions are tax deductible and 100% of all money collected through the capital campaign will go to fund building renovations and improvements. Contributions to the GoFundMe account 
will be charged a standard credit or debit card transaction fee, but GoFundMe will not take a percentage of our contributions. Please consider supporting this very worthy cause by clicking on one of the links below. We also are asking you to include this project in your prayers and share this page with all your friends and social media connections. Please send us the contact information of charitable groups or foundations that accept grant applications. Thank you in advance for your generous help.